Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know I'm a huge fan of Mego. You know, I, I, I love the Planet of the Apes, I, I love Star Trek, you know, I even have some World Greatest Heroes and some of the newer figures too that they've put out. But you know what? My love for Mego happened a long time ago and it happened with a figure, Action Jackson. You know, uh, I believe this is the first thing that Mego put out was the Action Jackson figure, right? And I had a few. I have a couple right, right here in front of us in my Action Jackson uh, Foot Locker box, right? Uh, but recently I was shopping online and, uh, and eBay and I managed to come across this. This right here is the Aussie Marine outfit for Action Jackson. And I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it today. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. You know, I'm not the kind of guy who likes to keep things in the, in the wrap. I wanna play with them, you know? <laughs> I'm not gonna keep it in the wrapper. I'm gonna have some fun with it, you know, because uh, when I pass on, I wanna, you know, I don't wanna leave a bunch of boxes and stuff for my kids. I just, you know, they can, they can toss this stuff out when, when I'm done. But anyway, it's a really cool figure, you know? Do and dare, he's everywhere. You know, the motto of Action Jackson. And on the back, it shows off some of the other outfits, you know? Here's the Aussie Marine. I have this guy. This is the um, the Air Force guy. I also have the uh, the Navy guy, and of course I have the uh, the Frogman. I've got the Ski Patrol outfit, and I've got the Army guy. Except I don't have that hat. He's got a helmet. I don't have this. This is the uh, Fire Rescue. I do have the Scrambler guy, but I don't have the um, the bike. You know, I don't have this guy either. I do have the the Spy. The Spy outfit's super cool. And then I have the, the snowmobile guy. I need to get myself a snowmobile. That's what I need. I don't believe I have any of the sports outfits. No, don't have any of those. So I haven't collected them all yet. But today we are going to take our Aussie Marine outfit and remove it from the package. And you know what, I'm just, I'm just enamored with the idea of, of a Jeep. You know, there it is in the background. So, you know, maybe we'll, we'll do a little extra today, who knows. But here we go. We're going to start the unboxing. All right. I don't know if that's the original tape. But I'm going to go ahead and start by cutting that off. Yeah, it looks like it might be the original tape. Boy. That paper. Paper looks really weathered. Let me bring the camera down just a bit. Paper looks really weathered. I'm gonna take it. Ooh, look, the watch talkie. Wow, that is so cool. I remember doing this as a kid. Oh, this is bringing back a ton of memories. And it had the, the little, the little um, threads on the back, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them all. And the, the pieces of the outfit should just fall off. Boy, yeah, I remember going to the Winds, Five and Dime, and every time I went, my mom would get me an outfit. Or not every time, but many times I went. There's the boots. Take those off. These M16. Oh, looks like it's not coming off yet. Got his pants off. Wow, the walkie-talkie. His hat. Ooh, the ammo belt. I think it's a, that's attached. Hmm. What's going on here? Oh, it looks like I might have missed one. There we go. And everything's just kind of coming off. I'm going to go ahead and take the, the backing away. And here we have his little Aussie hat. work on this. Looks like it's gone into the rubber. Ooh, I don't want to tear it. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a little more attention on that one. The boots. Oh, I'm just very excited about this, you know, we usually talk a bunch, but I'm just, this is, I'm just jazzed about this. 
Okay, let's see. Got the ammo belt. Nice jacket, camouflage jacket. And the pants. I'm gonna go ahead and get these on my guy. There's the standard M16. I'm gonna get these on my guy and let's take a look at him. Here he is outfitted. Doesn't he look great? He has a little M16. Oh, gotta look right there. It's a canteen, an ammo belt. Oh, he's just got some attitude, doesn't he? Look at that. Action Jackson. Walkie talkie. I guess he's calling in a strike. Wow, I am so happy to have this outfit. This is so cool. But you know what? I think he's missing something though. Yeah. I saw it on the box. I looked, I couldn't find the Jeep. So I guess I'm gonna have to get my own. So I think that's what I'm gonna do next. But take a look at that. Awesome, Action Jackson. So I'll be right back, I wanna try something. We'll see what happens. Now that I have my Aussie, he's going to need a really cool ride, so I thought, you know, let's turn to Barbie and see what she's got. And I found this really cool beach uh, comber Jeep, I think it's called, but there's a problem with it. I got it in and I noticed it's broken, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to try to fix the, the wheel. It looks like it's missing some stuff, so I'm going to have to get creative on this. But uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it all apart. And I'm going to soak some of the, the parts that have these stickers on them. I'm going to try to get those off. So let me see if I can get some of this, um, this plastic removed so I can see exactly what I'm dealing with. So I'm simply just taking off these screws. There's not too many of them, I don't think. Let's see. There's another screw. And... I've got some recessed ones here. Man, there's a couple of broken parts here. Hopefully I can get my epoxy to, to repair these. There's another one right here. But the, the one I'm really concerned about is the, um, is the wheel. Let's see what we got going on here. <clears throat> wow. You know, I'm thinking maybe I can get um, a piece of plastic, glue it on the bottom, and have it push that there, and maybe have something that comes over. Um, I'll see what I can do. Let me see if this wheel comes apart. I, don't know. I think these wheels are on. There's gotta be a way to take them apart. I'll try to figure that out. And let me take off the rear wheels. And there's like a little um, spacer there. I gotta make sure I don't lose that. Mission accomplished. I'm gonna take this, I don't I don't see a way to remove this, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna soak it until I get the, um, the stickers off, and then I think I'm going to do a paint job on the seats, like uh, black, and then I'm gonna paint the rest of it like an army green or an army tan, I haven't decided yet, but it's gonna look army uh, color. And then I'll try to see how I can get these apart. I don't think I'm gonna mess with this. I don't think there's any reason to. So I'll probably keep this together and then just cover the wheels so I can paint the um, the rims. If you notice they have little hearts on them, I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of those cutesy hearts. Maybe just a really cool paint job will, will uh, bring them down. So we'll see. The caps are actually pretty easy to get off. There's like a little tab here that you just pop. 
And then you go to the next one. I don't know if you're seeing these on camera. Once I get it off, I'll show you. And here's the last one. These little tabs. They fit in these little uh, slots right here. So these come off really easily. So that'll be easier to do the hubcaps at least. And I haven't really decided on a color. I'm thinking black. You know, I was able to pull apart the grill and uh, this piece right here, the uh, wench and the bumper. So it's coming along quite nicely. I have the, the body itself soaking in my sink in some hot soapy water so I can uh, use a, a, a nylon brush to to scrub off the uh, the decals. So um, I'm gonna get some of this stuff painted and I'll be back. Thought I'd show you what I was doing with the uh, rest of the Jeep. I just have it in, like I said, my sink with some hot soapy water and actually the decals actually coming off right now. So, you know, I'm just gonna leave it in here for maybe an hour. Uh, the water is warm, so it should come off pretty easily. If you're working, you'll notice some of the glue is a little bit stubborn. So I'm just using a little acetone and uh, a paper towel so that uh, any blue residue that's left over I can just go ahead and wipe it off it's basically just coming off of that and then you get a nice clean Oop, looks like I have a little bit more there but you get the idea you know a little acetone on there will get the stubborn glue off so that's what I'm doing at this point just cleaning it I noticed a little name on the bottom Heather Morgan I think I might uh, put a little tape over that just uh, to preserve it you know um, Obviously, this, this young lady had a fun time with her Jeep. It looks like she might have had a brother because it, some of you, like I showed you, the wheel was broken and it's, it's scuffed up in areas and he probably had some fun with it too. So, yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd keep that there. Just, you know, to, I guess, honor the first owner. As you can see, I just painted the seats black. You know, I'm gonna tape them off and paint the rest of it like a camo green. Um, Heather Morgan's name's protected right there, so. Uh, I was thinking, you know, I might just paint black underneath as well. I haven't decided yet. Maybe it just depends on how much paint I've got. So uh, just getting the seats done and then I'm going to uh, tape them off and paint the rest of the Jeep. I thought I'd do a little dry brush on the uh, accents. Uh, there's a little winch and the winch has a little hook. So I'm going to see if I can get that little hook to kind of pop. This was a fun little car to paint. It was pretty easy. It was like the last one I did, um, the little Roadster, the Sweet 16 Roadster. That was a fun one too. Okay, I may go in there and, and touch it up a bit. Um, I think I'm gonna do the lights as well. I'm gonna get a smaller brush for that though. Lay down some of the base paint here in the in the light itself, and then I'll come back later. Let's see, maybe I have a brush with me. This one's kind of small. Nope, this one's kind of small. Let me try this one. So let me try the little hook first. I don't know if uh, Jeeps during World War II had um, all these little winches on them. That's a little cool feature on this uh, on this particular Jeep. I'm sure Barbie gets stuck in the sand all the time. She's always doing something fun with her friends, right? I think that looks cool. Let me get those lights and I think I'm going to call this piece. I 
Yeah, my little Ozzy's gonna have a nice little ride. Yeah, I had a fun time with my Migos too, when I was a kid. And my sister can attest to the fact that I, um, <laughs> I played with her stuff too, like her Sunshine Family Van, and I tore that apart. I, I'm sorry, sister. <laughs> I hope you forgive me. It looks like little Heather's brother um, probably played with hers too. Probably ran it off the curb or wall. That's looking good. I think I'm almost done. Yeah, those look pretty round. Let me see, I think I missed some here. Okay, I think that's good. I think I'm gonna start assembling it. Um, as you can see over here, I, I got the rest of it painted. Yeah, looks pretty cool. That color I picked, that camo color, I think is the one I, I need. So I'm gonna get it uh, assembled and we'll take a look at it and uh, hopefully it looks good. Let's see. Well, there's my Aussie Jeep, right? Kind of looks like that one. Doesn't have the star though. I, I guess I can get some decals and, and put them on. I'd like to get a big Action Jackson decal and put it right there. I think that would be super cool, you know? Um, Look at the front end, it looks great. You know, these headlights right here were the, I left them the original color of the plastic, because I'm thinking maybe I can put like um, a couple of LEDs on the inside of those, kind of like hot glue them down, and have some working headlights, right, with a little switch. I still need to fix that that uh, tire though, because it's, um, I put some glue with some plastic to try to get it to, to work. You know, I think I have a little piece of plastic floating around in there. It just didn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna go um, industrial on it. And I'm going to get a piece of metal. And I'm going to uh, drill a hole in, in the base plate. And um, set it up that way. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. I mean, I know I can get that to work. Uh, but the plastic and the epoxy just didn't hold. But yeah, look, super cool. I'm very, very excited about this. You know, <clears throat> it, I, I made it for my Aussie, right? But... I can just see this thing doing a lot of double duty, right? With a lot of different figures. It just, it just, you know, it could be, you know, out of any time period. World War II, the 60s, you know? My little Ozzy's from the 60s. This guy's a little M16, but you know, I don't know about that camouflage. It's not uh, accurate for, I guess, World War II, but you know, you, know, you can play with them, have fun with them. But uh, yeah, I'm very, very pleased with the Jeep and the way it came out. It looks great. It does need something. It needs like, you know, maybe some little stars or an AJ up front. I think that's, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the AJ. But um, really, really pleased with it. It looks fabulous. It's gonna be a fun toy to play with. You know, once I get that wheel fixed, I I'm gonna be chucking it off of some curbs, you know, and having a good time doing it. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed uh, putting together this Jeep. I mean, boy, just this thing looks cool. You know, uh, Barbie accessories are, are a good way to, to get some extra stuff for your for your Action Jacksons or, you know, Planet... Oh, yeah, you know what? This might work for Planet of the Apes. Remember that, uh, I think it was Battle for the Planet of the Apes when Culp and his mutants attacked the, um, the, um, the Ape City, right? You know, I, I think I could put a recoilless rifle there, right? And put Culp and his driver in the driver's seat. Too bad, you know, they don't have a Culp head yet. But, you know, who knows? You know, that'd be cool. Culp head, uh, uh, a generic mutant. You know, you could get like four or five of those generic mutants and have a little battle with your apes, you know? I hope somebody who who does uh, heads like those is listening. So, you know, but anyway, I got my Jeep. You know, Star Trek, I don't know if I can use it for my Star Trek figures, but definitely, I, I have plans for this for my Planet of the Apes and definitely for my Action Jacksons. It's just, it's just a cool piece, isn't it? Well, uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Have fun with your Migos, and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye now.